Hey y'all, welcome back to Majora's Mask Randomizer. Alright, so we just watched the exchange between Cafe and the mailman after we delivered the letter to Cafe, aka Andrew's letter. <laughs> so now it's just to wait for Cafe. Since he'll show up at 12 o'clock, we may as well just... I went with the revert time, but we will speed time back up to normal. <laughs> And as we're waiting, just a very quick information about this game that I thought was interesting. That the art that is in Granny's stories, or Nana's, or just Angie's grandmother, is the art in there, the concept art, or whatever you want to call it. It's actually all 3D models. I thought that was really cool. I will have to find a link for that. I was trying to look that up so I can send it to you guys. If I find it, I'll put it in the description or in the comments, depending on. And also, since he is here or is showing up, I will actually just skip this conversation, pretty much just tell you guys what's going on. Because I already did this in my vanilla Let's Play, so if you guys want to watch that. <coughs> sorry, I drank some water before this and I'm just <laughs> choking a little bit of water there, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, I really want to do like a 3 heart challenge of that, of, of Majora's Mask as well, if you guys wanted to watch that. But anyways, so he pretty much just explains like, that uh, he is Cafe and that he got turned into an imp, well not imp, that he got turned into a child again because of Skullcud. And he isn't hiding from Andrew or anything because of that, he is hiding because he is Looking out for Seikon, which took his wedding mask, which is the sun's mask. And that is the whole reason why it is Cafe's and Angie's quest. Also, wow, okay. We got a key from him. Absolutely beautiful. And you know what? I am going to just skip time. Because, wait, no, not yet. Because we need to speak to Anju first. Then we'll come back here and then we'll skip time in his house. <laughs> there we go, because I don't want to forget that, because that is a big part of this quest is actually giving Dependent of Memory to Andrew, which is why we have it with us. <laughs> that would be, uh, awkward <laughs> if we uh, actually missed that, because we wouldn't actually get the item from the end of all of this. And we don't want that. <laughs> Try not to breath. I was talking a little bit too much there. I'm just, like, very energetic right now. I'm like, yes. <laughs> So just letting you know guy just letting you guys know is that if we don't get the Garros mask from the last two checks that we can get before going to the canyon, I will actually just bomb hover or bomb show hover, whichever one, uh, into the canyon. Because I just wanna go there. And I'm hoping we won't have to do that, but if we do, I will do that with you guys. Or at least I will try to, because it's kind of an awkward one to do. But now I will skip time to day two then. Because, well, we have to get that check, or those two checks, because again, this is only going to explain the next part, which I'm also going to skip. Oops, okay. Uh, apparently we're just going to blow a, blow a bomb up here on poor Antonio. <laughs> I guess he just really didn't want to play his Ocarina. He's like, no, you put it away. I'm just gonna drop a bomb instead. It's <laughs> not so much bombs. Oh, oh, we almost saw it explode, but it did it. That's okay. And I believe the no, the door is closed now. We know it's not. It's open still until I think about ten at night. I want to say I'm not really sure, but around there is when it appears, or when it, when he unlocks uh, when he locks the door again. So that's on final day, I am going to play the sun song and get as close to 3 o'clock as possible because that's when the door is reopening in. 12, 1, 2, almost 3, but not quite. Not quite. So I will revert time back into normal time again since, well, at least it's 2. I guess technically do like 2.35. I don't really know what it would be without the actual you know, clock. But if I were to say that's probably around there since it's an hour, so yeah. Unless that would be. But yeah, unless it's open by now. Okay, it is totally open by now. So I guess it's probably 2.30 then. Somewhere around there, because when the cafe 
hope this helps Mr. Raph to getting the letter. It's around 2.30 to 3 o'clock, so I was just... Go for 3 for safety measures, or the night after. But if we need to bomb, however, I'm going to play it safe. But yeah, this is him. So he's pretty much like, Huh, you're the kid cafe is talking about, and I saw cafe as a kid. This would this would have been the key to smash, but we have that. So, oof. Okay. Next one is... Snowhead Temple Fairy, okay. So that means we will bomb hover into a canyon, which is actually really, really fun. <laughs> and I'd be doing this anyways if, well, not if, but once we do do the glitched, the glitched logic in this game, because I really want to practice some of the glitches, then we will definitely be doing a lot of bomb hovers and stuff like that. At least if I were to assume so. Okay, which way? That's Southern Swamp. I believe we want to go west. I think. Sometimes I get, I just like south. I'm fine with it's the Southern Swamp, but it's west and east that I get mixed up. And I'm already going east. Okay, sir. Which way does this go? This goes to Stone Tower. Perfect. Oh. I always feel bad that they always look so nervous. <gasps> Hello, my Epona. I forgot I dropped you off here. Because I was collecting bomb shoes ahead of time. Sorry, I was like yawning there. I was like, too much stress. <laughs> I need time to yawn a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So we're hitting going through here. Another little fact about this game. Or at least the 3D version, because we can't fish in this game. There's actually a fish... I don't remember what it's called. I have to look at my notes here quickly for that. I just wanted to get across here first. Hello, Guas. How are you, my dear friends? I love you so much. <laughs> but, okay, there we go. The Colossal Fish. It will be... Oh, in-game, I believe it shows up in... The last day. I don't know where, because again, I... Whoa! Okay, you're launching me that way, are you? <laughs> this part is always the awkward for, part for me. Aside from... Oh, okay. I kind of wonder if we can get up here. No, we can't. Okay. I was like, well, since we have him in the logic, uh, we could just use it. Wanted to give that a try. Oh, no. Okay, well, at least that will launch us forward. So sorry, Antonio. Okay, that's probably too far. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, that's too far. Because this part's always just the awkward part. I think we could just hover up on there, but since we are very limited on our pop shoes... Okay, there we go. But anyways, it's quickly before. So if you use a ground pound on a final day, which in whichever area it's in, apparently you can lever it up. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Because it's based off of a Japanese legend. Okay, that is not IFG. <laughs> Let's try to IFG here. Okay. <laughs> uh, Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I thought that was interesting. And now what we want to do is hover all the way over there. Which hopefully will be fine, but we'll see. So I will probably do that on my own in case we mess up. So I will meet you guys across there. There we go. <laughs> I like how that triggered this cutscene, even though we're already up here. <laughs> it's like, yep, uh, I, I'm totally supposed to be up here. And huh, those guys are not randomized. Okay. Hello, you little Zerons. My little knockoff Gorons. I love you guys so much. And oops, we did that. Oh yeah, since so we have uh, IOSG still, we won't actually get damaged by them. Oh, we still can't get damaged by them, but we can blow them up very easily. But here you are. Ikana Canyon, or Ikala, Ikala, <laughs> Ikana Village, more so. I think we could probably glitch in here. But I actually want to check to see which, uh, what item this guy actually gives us. Okay, so that heart's vanilla, which makes sense because that's not actually in the logic that it shows. Thanks for stopping by. You're from the ocean, aren't you? Yeah, she, yeah. 
I'm here to sell a hero shield. Actually, I want to do business in a sea breeze while listening to the sound of the waves. But to open a business at another place. I do know what you mean, but fortunately I did not grab what you wanted. And hey, that's whatever. So now that we're here, <laughs> I know that uh, we have the ice here, so we could just easily go over there via, you know, ice. Uh, I don't remember what these guys are called, it's all of a sudden. So these guys are in the water over here. What are they called? Octorox. Okay, <laughs> I remembered right before the glitch. I'm actually going to kill them and show you the glitch that I showed you guys before. She probably I have to, to uh, make sure I don't fall off the ledge here. But to get to over there, instead of using the ice arrows, so if we want to come in here early, okay, that's a little bit too far. If we go into the water, it doesn't really matter that much because we can actually go over to the hidden shrine. Because I think we have enough hearts to at least do a little bit of something over there. Okay, so we want to go out here. It just takes me a while. It's easier. Okay, there we go. It's usually a little bit easier for me to do it with this one by myself. But of course, Let's Player's Luck sometimes just peeks his head in. Wow, I just missed a tree twice. Don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Alright. Okay, looks like there's those guys up there. Although, while we're here, we do... Oh, hello. You're just gonna go straight for me. We might as well get this. We don't have the Song of, song of uh, Soaring yet, but who knows? Maybe we can get that here. If not, we'll find our way back up here. Okay, we'll want to the Gibdos mask. So we can sneak past our little Gibdos here. So we don't have to worry about them gnawing on us. Or well, just screaming at us. They're like, our friends in there, we want them out. He's referring to Pamela and her father. We can also do the well. We could do it the well reverse, which I think is absolutely freaking hilarious. But what I want to do is actually talk to this guy. Touch his sharp, aka just yeet him away. See cutscenes here, it's been much like, he cursed one, you want to join them? Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's pretty much just tried to kill you. But I pretty much just skip his dialogue if the scene doesn't already, which the randomizer does. And here, of course, you want to use the Song of Storms instead of the Song of Healing. Which you would think so, but no. That is not the case. But there you go. Since it's daytime, we have plenty of time before we can go into doing, you know, the cafe is part of Cafe and Ashley's Quest. We may as well. Just say hello to Pamela's father. We don't have the stone mask, so we want to wait until Pamela goes. We can actually do that. So we can't sneak in. I would if we had the stone mask. Okay, Boa, back off, buddy. Like, I know you're cute, but like, come on, dude. You're not that cute. Actually, you are pretty much that cute. But I don't want you to uh, hit me too much. Okay, Pamela, when are you heading off, girl? And yes, I'm waiting here because if we go closer, she will run away. Especially if we have the Gibbles mask. We don't have the stone mask, so we can't just sneak past her. So I guess... Hmm. We can't say hello to the Great Fairy here. I want to sneak off to... Uh, this dude. Also, if it's nighttime, I wonder if she will leave. I'm not sure. Okay, she hasn't left yet. I'm actually going to go with here, which is another thing I wanted to show you, which I noted down before. If you use Song of Healing here, he will reduce the price of, you know, what it would take to do this little thing here. Nope. Are you still going to want a stronger than you? You find it here, a group of spirits fighting lingering regrets. You cannot heal all the souls of that song. See, that is the secret there. We're just a surprise, but he mentions that. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving the wandering souls. Yeehee. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Because if we have more than 30 rubies, we may as well try. The rest I'm skipping because the rest isn't anything new. And I guess I can use uh great I almost said great deku link. Which definitely is not great deku link. You know, the other two are going to cut to appear here. Okay, this makes it a whole lot easier. 
Okay, there we go. And now just one more, which I don't know if it's the same way as Twilight Princess, but you gotta wait for her to appear and do her spinning. Right, I don't know if he can actually get her. Okay, I think we need to shoot arrows at her. So it makes sense. Arrows, okay, yeah, we do need to shoot arrows at her. So you have the light arrows. Oh, we don't have the light arrows, right. Shoot! But we have these. So I think it actually does the same damage. Okay, girl, where are you showing up? Okay, it's also beside me. One more, okay. Whew. Come on, girl. Show your butt. And right in front of us this time, okay. I was expecting her to go behind us, but she did not. So I was so surprised that the beams do not work on her. Okay, now behind us this time. Okay, I see how it is, girl. There we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> and spin attacks don't work, by the way. Because I'll get her to attack. Okay. It's probably going to be a heart. Oh, no, it's not a heart. Okay, I was surprised it wasn't vanilla. Oh, so yes, if you look over at the marker again, the giant's pass is gone, because for some reason, the game never saved after it reset the cycle. Hello, Boa. Goodbye, Boa. Okay, Pam, where are you at? Yes, I just called her Pam, not Pamela. <laughs> but she went, oh well. I could call her what I want to call her, I guess. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. She's actually really freaking cute. It's better you don't get to see more of her and her father, because I think they're kind of interesting. Since he's a researcher, that's too bad he can't just help us on other things other than be like, yeah, here's the gift of the mask, blah 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 blah. Okay, it's almost night too, so I wonder if she'll still be here. I don't think she actually goes inside during the night. So I also don't know when Seikon appears. Could probably glitch in there, but I don't really care to do that. Okay, 12 hours remaining. Oh, there's actually bubbles here. Okay, where's the bubble? There's no but nearest bubble. There it is. Yeah, I heard you, motherfucker. You can calm down there, bud. Here we go. Come on, Pamela. Move your little butt. No, I guess we can just check to see if, uh, see if, uh, Seikon is still down there or not. I like Seikon. We can also do the well, but I kind of just want to finish off the quest here. Yes, yes, I know there's girls down here. Don't have to tell me that twice. Don't think she's actually there yet. Okay, so Pamela's still over there. I believe he shows up at like 12 or something like that. No, I've been jinxed. Thank it. JK, I can just use the Sunco Storms here. <laughs> there we go. That's what you got for cursing me, little bubble. Little stinker. Right, Pamela. This is scary because you have to go kind of closer. Okay, she's still there. Dang it, because she just likes washing the water. But okay. I guess we may as well just wait with, uh, with Cafe because I don't want to miss that. I would rather come back here because we'll be back here in the next cycle regardless because I don't really have anything else to do. And it's you know, honestly just really fun just freaking glitching through and stuff like that. The Ultra Rocks are probably also back here. Are they? Inching closer. Okay, no, there's- Oh, yep, yeah, they're back. Okay, hello. Shooting their nasty popcorn at us again. Nasties. <laughs> but alright. Let's wait to his cafe. I don't remember when he shows up. I think he actually shows up at the last cycle. Okay, 12 o'clock. I don't know why I said last cycle there. Hello, cafe. Are you here, buddy? Oh, shoot. We don't want to get caught by him. Okay. No, we got caught by him. Dang it. That's okay. We can actually just glitch through here. It's an awkward one to glitch through. I think we actually have to roll into it. Didn't realize they actually showed up at 6. Okay. She might pause it just to get ourselves in here. So I'll just meet you guys inside. Alright, we are back. And with Word Audio. I can't believe I didn't catch that before, but oh well. <laughs> also, it didn't take me that long to get back in here. All I really did was this side hop where I was trying to roll. That for me is easier, and other people have it easier just to roll in. 
But alright, now to finish this off, I'm sorry for booping you guys. <laughs> I'm going to skip this dialogue because he's pretty much like, yep, it's, it's the sun's mask, it's what I'm looking for. Of course, he activates that without you know, realizing there was that switch there for some reason or what that would do. Now we are going to be helping him, which we will be going back and forth between Cafe and Antonio. Which I think is really, really fun. I, I wish there was more of this mechanic, to be honest with <laughs> you. It's one of my favorite parts. Also, you can attack and backflip as Cafe, which I thought was interesting. Since there's no enemies here. Aside from on Link's side slash Antonio's side, so there's really no way points as far as I know of. But that was, like, that was kind of interesting. So you can't backflip onto here or anything. So I don't really know why that would be, unless there were two add in any enemies or plan on adding enemies in there but I thought that was cool <laughs> and unless that's just because of a randomizer because I never really tried to use the attack button in uh, an old vanilla game so stepping on all these switches that will make them slow that will not make them slow but it makes the uh, process here slower so dang it I could have totally gotten that ducky nut but we'll get a ducky nut there it's not the other Deku Nuts because I don't know why that would, it, it's just like, no, I don't want you to have me. <laughs> there we go. So there's multiple ways you can, of course, do this puzzle here, but that seems to be the easiest one. The last room has a wolf host in it, which sometimes is just a butt. But in this case it wasn't, we actually got it before it could be a butt or even attack us. <laughs> because sometimes it just glitches out and decides to just be in a loop where it just Hides. Anyways, that's the end of this, and the mask totally just didn't teleport over there, but oh well. So now it's a part where he is like, okay, going back to town, which we will also do. We don't have the song of soaring, so we will just go down the river and use Goron Link to go back, since I don't think the swamp is poisoned anymore. I, I don't really know. We'll find out. Regardless, we're gonna go through the swamp since, well, go down here and all the way down there. <laughs> By all the way down there, I mean all the way down here in Southern Swamp. So I guess we'll use Goron Ling and we'll find out if the area is poisoned or not. <laughs> oh, he apparently picked some of that stuff up. There we go, I was just trying to get some magic. <laughs> That's all I really wanted. Okay, so it is not poisoned. Yet there is a hawk truck. Oh wait, no, that's because it's the entrance. That's right. Duh, it didn't, it didn't bring us to the uh, palace or anything. I don't know why I thought it did. <laughs> it always right next to the freaking twins. But oh well. This is why I just decided to go this way. Because if we go around, it's going to take longer. So we have plenty of time. Because we pretty much have to wait for the last hour and a half, I think. Until it actually get, until Cafe actually appears. Oh look, we got 40 rupees again. It's a really fast way to get to freaking rupees back. But oh well. So to the stock pot in to wait for Cafe. So hopefully it won't take that long, which will. Should probably not that long, but we'll see about that. I will just revert to time back. We could speak to Andrew and then. I guess we'll just wait for a little bit. So I don't think it actually takes that long, because otherwise, you know, people wouldn't be wanting to do this quest as much. <laughs> Alright. So I think it could be that it's like five hours and like a minute or something like that, but I'm pretty sure it's like an hour and 30 minutes to left. Hello. I have decided to wait for him. I've made a promise. I'm fine with this. I believe in him. Right, so now it's time to wait. So the third thing that I'll mark down while we wait for it is that there is actually an alternative title screen, which I thought was really interesting and had no idea about. That if you go to the options menu for, uh, you know, shooting your file, I guess you do the file select menu, and you press B, it'll actually show another title, which I think I could probably show at some point. Maybe next episode or something when I boot up the game again, because obviously we'll be resetting the cycle anyways. But yeah, so I thought that was interesting. 
And with that, we shall just wait for our cafe to, uh, to appear, so I'll meet you guys then. Alright, so the time is approaching now. Of course, this isn't the exact time, because he shows up at an hour and 30 minutes. But I think it's just really dark, because like, if we just didn't get the mask at all, she would just be waiting here. And vice versa, if, you know, we didn't give him her dependent, and he would just be waiting here. It's just really, really sad. But alright, here we go. <laughs> One of my favorite cutscenes here. So I think it's skipped on a randomizer, but they pretty much just get married at like the last hour and a half. It's like, oh man, it's like, so dark. But they're together, which is the best part, but it's also like, oh man, it's like, it didn't dawn on me as a kid until like, replaying it as an adult, it's like, oh man, this game really is dark. <laughs> but there we go, let's see what we got from them. Okay, yeah, game, now we get the girl's mask. And this isn't even glitch logic. <laughs> That's the best part about this. It's like the odds of that of this happening that you actually have to glitch into the into the area to get something in a non-randomized logic is very rare. <laughs> so I'm surprised that happened. But alright, let's reset time now. <laughs> so guess with that then I shall leave it here, and that means we can actually go and do the stuff in the Count of Valley and stuff like that. Which is really nice. So, with that then, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, do what you do. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.